tippet rings. I'm just kidding. We're gonna have to battle over this hill for eternity, I think. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome to another huge fly fisherman video here on YouTube. In case you're new to this channel, I put out a new fly fishing video every Monday. Also, you can go to my website, hugeflyfisherman.com and get huge fly fisherman stuff. And you can check out my other channel at special.tv where I have video stuff that you cannot get on YouTube. The last video I did was about the worst fly fishing products, but I can't be negative all the time. So I'm following that up with this video about the best fly fishing products. Yeah, you could say it's a feel good video. This is not a sponsored video. I will be naming some specific products, but I'm not not getting paid. I'm not getting free stuff in return for promotion. These companies don't even know that I'm making this video. I'm going to go over a lot of things. Some of them are going to be obvious. Some of them will not be. So let's go. The first best fly fishing product, airlock bobbers. First of all, I love nymphing. That's sarcasm. I hate it, but it's just a fact of life if you're a trout fisherman. Dries and streamers are more fun for sure, but if you want to catch a lot of fish, nymphing is usually going to be the best way to go. And during winter, sometimes it's the only way to go. Not always, but you know what I mean. Anyway, airlock bobbers are the best bobbers. They uh, float, they bob, they indicate a strike. They come in a bunch of different colors and sizes. You can write on them and they are adjustable. That's an important one. But the best thing about airlock bobbers is that they are biodegradable. Raise your hand if you've ever seen a wayward bobber laying on the ground or floating in the water. Yeah, me too. Saw one yesterday. Well, that's not a problem anymore. As I understand it, the fine folks from airlock actually quit making their old style plastic bobbers until they could find a way to make an environmentally friendly version, which they did. Good on you, airlock. You're awesome. Good bobbers too. Quick side note, it just came to my attention a couple days ago that there is a new style of bobber that's gonna give airlock a run for their money I think it's called the Oros and I believe it's made out of the same material as the biodegradable airlock bobbers which is great and it seems to be a better design that's more in line with your leader I haven't tried them yet but they look promising all right next best fly fishing product is the echo gecko fly rod again no one is paying me to say this stuff okay the echo gecko is a fly rod made for kids it's a seven foot nine inch long rod that takes a four or five weight line I fish it with a five the most important design feature is the handle. That's what sets it apart from other rods. It has a skinny handle that's made for little munchkin hands. And it also has a lower handle on the rod butt. If you give a fly rod to a kid that doesn't know how to fish, I guarantee they will start waving it around with two hands. It's just natural for some reason. The lower handle is like training wheels for your little ankle biters and it works really well. Another side note, the Gecko is a great small stream rod and I fish ours more than my kids do. Okay, next best fly fishing product is multi-rod tubes. If you're some kind of loser that doesn't have rod guns strapped to the top of your truck, you might want to pick up a multi-rod tube. Therefore, uh, putting more than one rod in a tube. Because I know you don't go fishing with only one rod in your truck, right? Because what happens when you break your rod and you don't have another one? Another reason multi-rod tubes are so great is because in the battle for airport supremacy, the magnum rod tube beats the duct tape rod tubes every day. All right, now these aren't in order, but the next best fly fishing product is boats. If there's one thing that enhances my fishing experience besides fried chicken, it's a boat. Going for a boat ride is fun, right? Well, what if you get to go for a boat ride and go fishing? Yeah, it's awesome. Boats allow you to cover more water and get to more fish, and you can haul more beer. It's winning all around. And when I say boats, I'm talking about rafts, skiffs, drift boats, stand-up paddle boards, canoes, john boats, V-holes, pontoons. You could be out there in the worst inflatable kayak ever, the Sea Eagle, and still be having a better time than the guy on the bank. All right, we're gonna stick with the boat theme here for a minute. The next best fly fishing product is the Tornado Anchor. Man, what a simple and effective design. The idea is that all of the little edges and points create more grabby spots. Way more grabby spots than the traditional 
traditional pyramid anchor or whatever this thing is called or your dumbbell or your coffee pot with cement and an eye bolt or whatever you're using for boat breaks. The tornado anchor is also lead free by the way. Okay, the next product is these scissor forceps things. You can carry forceps and you can carry nippers or you can carry one thing that does both. It's like super tactical or something. I started using these several years ago and I don't think I'll ever go back. The mitten style works really well too. All right, next great fly fishing product, hooded shirts. They're not just a fashion statement, they're functional. Back in the day, we had our cute little button down shirts. To be sun safe, you'd wear a long sleeve shirt, then throw on a buff up top. It worked, minus the little Superman sunburn you'd get on your neck. These days, a hooded sun shirt is standard gear. I love them, it's daily wear for me. They come in different weights, just like fly lines. Some have pockets or thumb loops. Personally, I like the shirts made from natural fibers. Synthetic fiber stains, stinks, and is bad for the environment. Natural fiber like bamboo is the way to go, right guys? You're probably wondering, and yes, I do sell hooded shirts on my website. Oh, and by the way, Ron, the hood goes over the hat but you do you. Okay, next product, polarized sunglasses and a hat too. I am frigging amazed at how many people fish without sunglasses and a hat. Polarized glasses will help you see into the water, but more importantly, they'll give you eye protection from your horrible casting. A hat will keep the sun off your dome and it will actually help you see in the water also. I think a lot of people don't realize that. And what is with all of the YouTubers that fish with no sunglasses or hat? Typical idiot YouTubers. Okay, last one, rubber net bag. Bags. Traditional net bags mangle the fish and your terminal tackle. Rubber net bags are gentle on the fish's skin and slime coating and your flies don't get caught in them. Rubberized mesh is also an acceptable alternative. And if someone tries to sell you one of those ghost nets claiming that the fish can't see it, yeah, that's a lie. And that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. If I left something off the list, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. Or you can tell me if you agree or disagree with some of the items on my list. I'll be back as soon as I can with another huge fly fisherman video for you. Until then, for the 100th time, go fishing and pick up some trash and stay huge. If that Oros company doesn't have an option for a red and white bobber, I'm going to be personally offended.